What's up guys? Michael Pitbull on here. We're gonna take a ride today. Whoa. I'm not gonna fall though. So hold on, let me unzoom this. Oh, God. All right, unzoomed. Let's take our friend over here that we just birthed. Get nice and cooled off. To the stamping area. Got to have my dog blanket to stand stand on over here. All right, let's get to work. Oh, guess I don't need this giant glove on anymore. Okay. One day I'll have a cameraman and we won't have to worry about this guys. Just be smooth rolling. here. Actually, that went off without a hitch. Was not too bad at all. Now, I've already made a couple videos today. And in each one, I forgot to do the darn side stand. How you going, man? How you doing? I got something. All right. Sorry about that. That was a mail call, you know? I don't, uh, I don't ever stop for the mail, man. Or, I mean, I don't ever not stop for the mail, man. I need that. We got some packages, you know? Boom. Anyway, let's get back to work. Need to side stamp this thing. That is the key here. So. Oh, God. See, I'm kind of trying to rush through this for you guys, and I'm kind of slacking here, but we'll get it done. Want to do 39, eight. That's a six and a nine. There we go. Got our numbers. Got our logo stamp and we got our weight and purity <sighs> but we're not done on a normal round we'd be done by now we would have been done before the the number stamp but we went the extra mile with these guys thanks to silver soul man who gave me the idea to do this well not so much the idea as much the push to do it. I've always thought about doing it. I just wasn't doing it. But he gave me the push. And uh, I'm glad he did. Because I like the way he's going. So, 
Get rid of all that nice shiny stuff. We don't need any of that here. Get it nice and satined. And we'll take this over here to what a bunch of people want to know what's in this jar. But you ain't gonna find out. Sorry, guys. I got my secrets. I worry about showing you this much. Because I know a lot of you guys that antique, I probably just blew your mind right now with that. Tricks of the trade, right? Everybody could respect that. So, we've washed our stuff off here, neutralized the uh, chemical. back to the buffer. Good and black. I mean this would be a horrible job if it was a coin or a round. But I'm not doing a raised surface, I'm doing a indented surface. So it does not matter today. Could not do this if I was uh, doing a coin or a round. That's a hand polish kind of deal doing raised surface work. I don't normally go one-handed, but I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing here. Tidbit. All right. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the production, and I will get back to doing uh, 99 more of these. <laughs> nah, I'm not that far. I only got what are I, 39, 61 left to go. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the process, and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye. Oh, I forgot to say, I am letting people pick their numbers on these guys if you hop on metalsmafia.com you will be able to choose your numbers uh, about 35 or 40 of them already taken but there are still some pretty low numbers out there a lot of people wanted certain numbers for uh, sentimental reasons I think but yeah you guys should hop on the uh, forum is super cool man we got a lot of good quality people on there and I'll be doing all sorts of specials for the forum like this, you know, before they hit the uh, actual website. So I strongly encourage you guys to show up and uh, check it out. And not just my stuff, too. You know, there's all sorts of people selling stuff on there now. It's outrageous. All right, guys. I will catch you on the next video.